Let's open it up and see the treasures inside. What? Oh my gosh. Hey gang, it's Josh, the geocaching blogger. I was just in my car finishing up lunch because I need to refuel because I'm continuing my great grand second adventure in Gilby, North Dakota, which is the Disneyland of geocaching because of Tricasius, one of the greatest geocaching hiders in the world. Some of you might be inspired. I hope that you're inspired to come to Gilby, North Dakota and experience all that I'm experiencing and so much more. The videos you see on my YouTube channel are just like scratching, it's just scratching the surface. I want to prepare you for what you'll need when you come to Gilby. Most of the caches in Gilby are on like country roads. Where there's no restrooms, there's no gas. Here are the essentials, what you need. You need a car that is filled with gas. There's not a really a gas station really too close by. You need water. Last time I was here, I didn't bring enough water with me, so I have water now. You should bring a lunch with you, not sponsored. Bring a roll of toilet paper. You never know, there's not porta potties around here but there's plenty of wide open spaces. Make sure your phone is fully charged. And so I, in my car, I have this little like charging thing station, so you wanna keep it charged. Also, cell service can be a little sketchy out here, so make sure that you download all the caches that you wanna find on your phone bef because there's no guarantee of cell service. But actually right now, I have two bars. And you must never, never, ever, ever forget a pen. You need that to sign all the amazing geocaches. We're on another one. Let's get out of the car and let's go to it. There's a nice little trail to this one from my previous geocaching friend, Finders. Whoa. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look, look at that monster. Who doesn't love a large geocache? That is one big tube. Let's open it up and see the treasures inside. What? Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Oh my gosh. It's a huge, it's a huge Swiss army knife. That is so cool. It's like Pee Wee Herman size. <laughs> That's big, big knife. <laughs> There's all kinds of like stuff in it. I just noticed on here a lot of the different types of containers that we love in geocaching. So look at all the ones we have here. We have, it's the fake stick geocache with the nano on the top. We got the, the birdhouse gadget cache type geocache. There's a logbook in there. We have a key holder, magnetic right here on the, uh, on the stop sign. All right, what's over here? Every type of cash container you can think of, guys. We got the fake sprinkler. We have the fake switch plate. Looks like this is a bone with a geocache in it. Fake golf ball. We got the, the pill bottle. We have the M&M, &M. M&M. They all have log books in it. We got the fake rock geocache. Fake stump geocache, look at, look at this. Wouldn't that be evil to find? We have the classic Altoid tin. We have the little Tupperware. We've got the bison tube hanging on the stick. We have so many different geocaches that we could we could sign. We got the reflector geocache. We got a fake bolt geocache. We got fake gum geocache. A little test tube strip here in the signpost. <laughs> There's even more. We got the film canister. We have the pop top. How many different geocache containers are on this thing? That one right there might be the tr one of the trickiest ones. That might be the one I need to sign. I brought my own little knife to get out the logbook on that tiny, tiny one. I wonder how many names are on that one. I right, got it. Got it out. What do you think? What is your prediction? Any names on this one? This one was probably one of the sneakiest ones on here. Let's see, was I first to find? Was I, nope. <laughs> Not first to find. Uh, there was a few names, a few names on this one. <laughs> but I am one, two, three, fourth to find. Not too bad. So this one is so cool that it certainly deserves 
a little photo session. That was cool. Hopefully, hopefully I signed the right logbook. There were like 24 of them in there. All right, that was a huge, huge Swiss Army knife, Swiss, Swiss Army cache. It was huge and it was a ton of fun. Now, go ahead, go over there. There's gonna be some more videos over there. You won't wanna miss them. And I'll meet you over there at the next video. On to the next one. Start your engines. <laughs>